I'm going to show you how to create a form on your website, a contact form. Let's go to modules and take a look what's in here. By default, Drupal comes with this module called contact and you can use this for a contact form. However, I really don't like it that much. It's not that flexible and, and you can't really customize it. You can't really do much with it. So I opt for a contributed module called web form. It's really popular and it lets you create not just contact forms, but any kind of form. You can create surveys, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but let's just stick to creating a basic form. I'm going to go down to web form if I can find it. There it is. Turn that guy on. It wants to add in a whole bunch of other stuff. Sure. Okay, and we're installed. So let's go to content, add content, and you'll see we now have a web form. So it automatically creates a node type for a, a web form, or I should say a content type in Drupal 7. Let's create a title for our web form, my form. I'll put it in the menu, sure, and hit save. And as soon as you hit save, it dumps you right into the form building aspect of web form. So this is where you can just add any forms you want. So on your contact form, I'm gonna ask for someone's name and that'll be a text field, sure. And I'll make it required and hit add. So it gives you a lot of other settings here. The defaults are usually fine. These are like if you really want to fine tune some things. Hit save and you'll see that we now have name. I'll ask for someone's email address. And you can change the type of this field to be specific and say I want it to be an email field and say required. So that way, if they type in anything other than an email address, it's going to give them an error saying, hey, you need to enter in an email address. I'll hit add. Again, you have the, the second screen here that lets you fine tune some things. The defaults are usually fine. So I'll just click right through and hit save. And I'll add one more field. I'll add, I'll add a message. So this is where we let them type in what they want to contact us about. And that's going to be a text area. So that's a multi-line form where they could type in as much as they want. I'll make that required. Hit add. Again, defaults are usually fine. And I'll hit save. Now what's nice about web form is now that I have these in here, I can actually move these around if I wanted to. So like this is pretty powerful. Hit save. And let's take a look at our form so far. I'll hit the View tab. And here we go. It's ready to go. Message and you get a Submit button. So now that we've created this form, we kind of want it to go somewhere, right? Like we want it to email to somebody. So let's go back into our Web Form tab and hit Emails. So this is where we can set up who we want these forms to send to once they get submitted. You can type in anybody's email address. Hit add. And you get a whole lot of customized settings here. I usually just stick with the defaults. They're just fine, but you can change the subject, who it's from, the from name, and then you can change the template that uh, shows up as the body of the email. By default, it's going to show you the date, who submitted it, and all the values from the form, and then a link back to the submission. I'll just hit save. And you can see that the email has been added, and you can add as many email addresses as you'd like. Let's go back to view. So I'll go ahead and fill this out.
and submit it. So now that I've submitted my email, I can click the results tab and that actually shows me a lot of information. You can view the submission. You can see who submitted it, when they did it and what was all in it. But you can also do other things. You can analyze it. So if you had a whole lot of submissions, you could compare all the values. You can export it as a table and see the values submitted. You can download it to an Excel file, which is pretty handy if you want to run some analytics on it. And you can also clear it out. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And this just wipes out all of your entries. But that's a basic overview of web form. And again, this is a pretty flexible form builder, much better than the default contact form. If you have any questions about it, feel free to submit those in the comments below.